What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Simulation for the Nation and welcome back along to Oakfield Farm where today we're pulling out both the big guns. Uh, we're going to really make a big push to finish up our uh, spring drilling today. Um, oh, it's going to be a bit tight. Squeeze through here. That's a narrow gate post. There we go. So we've um, yeah we got Barry out on the New Holland today. He is drilling some spring oats. Actually, we're doing something a little bit different on some of the lighter land we've got. Uh, oh, I'll do that one. So he is actually just through the fields through there on that field that we spread compost on the other day. Um, so he is putting down a variety of red oat uh, known as Avena Byzantina. Uh, which is going to be a bit of a trial for us, but because the land's quite light there and it's got a good nutrient fix at the moment following the compost uh, application, it should work pretty well. I'm fairly confident about that. Um, also, very interested to see how that all pans out, really. Oh, Lord, don't go too far. And I, if I can get into my get field, there we go. We've pulled out the uh, combination rig. Uh, we don't use this very often, only when we're on some harder ground. Um, we're going up to the top of the hill here. We've got some stony, uh, really s heavy clay ground that we want to try and... We've recently acquired, actually. Um, and it was the previous farmer before us had... Um, we did a lot of root crops, so we did a lot of sugar beet and potatoes. And so this was previously sugar beet. Now he's disked it in, so he's got rid of all the trash on the surface, which is good news. But I'm a little bit concerned about compaction levels. Um, I believe w when you when you um, drill and harvest sugar beet, there's a lot of heavy machinery running around on your field, uh, which really does compact down the the, uh, the soil and really damages the soil structure. So we're going to have a, a rip through it today with um, our combination here, uh, primarily because we have the the subsoil legs on the front of the power harrow, so it really just kind of break down that uh, the the, the the deeper pan of the soil really gets down into the um, into the subsoil, uh, really breaks through it all, lifts it up, and then we can really start to work on it from there with um, min till cultivation practices. But for now, I just really want to uh, see if we can break it up a little bit and give it a bit of a fighting chance, really. Uh, so we're going to be sowing some spring barley today. Uh, so we're going to get a lovely view as we go up on the top of the hill here, uh, which will give us plenty to look at as we go. It's quite a big field. Um, if I bring up my, my map here, we're going up into field 6, um, so it's just uh, behind these trees really. Uh, so it's going to be it's a fair sized field there, relatively square, so it should keep us going. But uh, yeah, lots to do. As we as we look down the field, we may be able to see Barry drilling in there somewhere. Um, no, it must be behind the trees. But yeah, he's going to finish that field off there and he's going to come into here. So no doubt sometime soon I'm going to have to head back to the yard and pick up the JCB telehandler with some more seed. But we'll worry about that one as and when we need to. Right now though, we're just going to pop around this corner. I have to kind of cut through someone else's field here, but this is the only access point we have. And here we are. So... I decided to put the the fent onto the combination drill this morning, primarily because the case probably could have handled it just, but we've got a big hill here, uh, so it would have really slowed us down when we're trying to get up here. Uh, as you can see, th it has been worked over once, like I said, the previous owner did disc it down before deciding to relinquish the, the ground, so we've... It's been worked over there, so it should make it a little bit easier going, but we'll just come back through there again and we should be able to make some good progress. Um, as I mentioned, we are going to be drilling some uh, spring barley. We're going to be um, opting to go ahead with a, a variety called propino. Uh, now, so propino is a it's a molten barley, uh, in which I, most of my spring barley uh, will always be molten, um, primarily because my uh, grain trader has uh, good contracts with local breweries. So when all being well, if we get the right, a good harvest, at least good moisture, good uh, good protein levels, this will all go away uh, to be made into lager at some point uh, at a local brewery, which is good news. It's nice to be able to keep it all um, very local, keep it all within the within the area. Uh, I do value that very highly when I'm uh, making my decisions. Uh, we're going to stop at the other end, I think. So yeah, it will be all led away. Um, we're probably going to be looking to get this. Um, as this is spring barley here, it needs 
just under six months really for a good growth cycle so it's we're going to be looking to kind of get this at the back end of august early september um but yeah we should be okay um we'll just have to give it uh, every fighting chance really we'll come back in here after we've drilled this with some uh pre-emergent fertilizer which should take care of any of the uh, pesticides on here uh, and give the the emerging crop its best fighting chance uh so yeah it's we we kind of often choose uh propino because it is a very robust barley um it matures very quickly when it comes out the ground there so it does kind of fight off any pests any uh pesticides and any bugs and infections uh, any disease such as crop rot for example so it does fight those off very well uh so when you particularly when you're kind of on some heavier uh, land at the top here it does need every helping hand it can get really so i'm just gonna head back up to the corner here all right so we just need to get ourselves settled down So let's bring it. set our. What we need to do now is just set up our um, tram lines. So we've got a thirty-six meter drill. Perfect, we'll get a nice straight line going down that edge, and that'll do us for there. Alright, now away we go. Get some four wheel drive on here. Don't need to worry about putting our ridge markers down here, we do have, like I said, we do have our GPS on, so that should keep us going nicely. And we're finally breaking the back of the spring drill in here. We should be in a great place by the end of today. Get this field done, get the two down there, and that's pretty much just done for now. And we can turn our attention back onto some grass, which would be great news. I'm definitely pleased that I did put the fence onto this, because this hill would, use them more realistic, this hill would probably suck the life out of the, out of the case CVX. It's 175 horsepower, which is, which is pretty good uh, for a lot of tasks, but it might just start to struggle a little bit when we when we really get into the thick of it here. Nice to be farming on a heck of a slope, get some great views over the valley. Look at that. So at this stage, I would like to say hello to you all. Um, I just realized I haven't done that. Hope you're all doing very well this morning. Welcome to all the new subscribers who joined the family. Uh, massive shout out to Chris the Irish Gamer actually, he's been uh, great in putting people my way, so really do appreciate that one. Um, every little helps, and it's always nice to know that you've got some some support there. I'm going to have to have my hood on here obviously. There we go. get up the hill we're spinning we are spinning 84 85 87 percent wheel spin get some more traction here hmm oh well we might just have to have a quick change of the plan. We'll go along. We'll go the other way. That's fine. So, we'll lose bring back up our GPS. I meant to go this way. That's fine. 
not a problem at all. I can just act as there's a bit of a, a headland demarcation. And we'll square this end up first as well before we go any further. Let's have a look at what proceeds saying. So I hope you all are doing all very well by now I'm sure today is Thursday so I'm sure you've all seen uh, the new trailer that was released by Giants for SF19 didn't give away a lot but uh, there are you know there are a few indications there it looks like we're getting a dog if nothing else so there's something for, you, uh, for us dog fans um, I would have been miffed if they put a cat in there but never mind we're, we've got a dog so that's, that's good there's apparently going to be lots of um, enhancements to the engine. We're not changing game engines, keeping the same engine, but with a lot of enhancements. That could be really interesting to see just what they can get out of a, a an old engine at this stage. So I'm definitely interested to see how they how they handle that. Um, but yeah, so there's lots to see. There's going to be lots of updates, and I'm sure in the uh, immediate future we're going to well we're going to be seeing little snippets um, over the next few days, weeks, months, but it's definitely going to be quite interesting. But yeah, it's finally happening, we're finally going to start to hear about it, which is which is kind of exciting, kind of neat, so um, let's watch this space. But yeah, if you do have any thoughts or feelings about it, do drop them in the comments below. There we go. Well, at least we can actually, we're sliding. We are sliding. We need to get this figured out. That's a big old slide. It's somewhat odd that the tractor of, uh, I believe this is about 500 horsepower, can actually slide when pulling the 4 meter combination drill. Boy, are we sliding. Okay, so we'll tie you at this end. I'm going to give this one more pass to see if we can kind of can arrest the slide. Uh, if we can, then great. If not, we might have to take off the cultivator tines on the back there. Or the uh, subsoiler leg, sorry, just to see how that handles everything. There we go. But yeah, we'll see how we get on with this leg. Okay. Alright then, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, leave you here just quickly. I will. Um, get to the end here and we'll see what we can do about this slide and then we'll we'll come back to you when we're when we're up and running really okay everybody we got it uh, the subsoil legs had to come off they were just causing us too much uh, resistance so what we might have to do when we finish uh, when we lift the spring barley crop we'll come in with a flat lifter I think and just really hammer this um, hammer this sub base here in this field just to get it really nice and lifted up we might try a cover crop uh, over the next winter and put another spring crop of barley in, but we'll see how we're looking. But for now, at least we can get drilling. That's the main thing. We've got a big field to go at, so we've got plenty of time. Um, and I'm kind of just hanging by the phone just in case we need to, um, just in case we need to jump in and go down and fill up, uh, fill up Barry again. I think he's doing all right for the moment, but we'll see. Alright, so we're all set up for the tram lines. Everything is working well. And we're not sliding, which is the main thing. So 
So the time is just about 2 o'clock here this afternoon. I expect to get this field all finished up um, probably by about 6 or 7. All being well with no little interruptions or anything. Um, after this we are going to be... Next couple of jobs, of, as you may have seen recently, we did get some cattle. Uh, we have some... We have a few bales of uh, hay and straw to keep us going. That said, I do have a contact uh, further up there, um, up the coast really, who um, I was speaking to last uh, last night. Now he has, he um, not only is he a farmer, but he also has large quantities of hay, straw, and silage bales that he sells, uh, and he does have quite a few available at the moment, which is great news. So what we might look to do is take a drive over there with one of our trailers and go and see what we can get from him really. Um, we might take a trailer of silage bales actually because I think the cattle would benefit from from having the, uh, some silage into their diet. Uh, so that's something we're going to have to do soon. Like I say, we are kind of waiting now for our own silage. The The ground has been fertilized once. We'll probably have to look at to doing it at least one more time I would suggest. Um, but that's something we'll look into. And then once we have that done, um, we're kind of just waiting for the weather to really kick in, get some good growing spells, and we can really start to get our own silage up and going. So I think at this stage we are going to look into bringing in a contractor to give us a helping hand. Uh, we do, we just don't have the uh, the assets or the funds to do it. Uh, I do have a baler, so we could possibly look into baling our own silage, but we do have some good pits, and it'd be nice to get some pit silage into the mix as well, really. So that's something else that we need to consider. Uh, so there's always lots to kind of think about and try and balance out here over in Oakfield, but we'll figure it out. Um, so yeah, main thing is we might go for a, a little bit of a drive sometime soon, or we might see if we can actually deliver some uh, silage to us. Um, either way, lots of uh, lots of things happening in the not too distant future, which is good. We, we do need to uh, always see. Well, we do need to keep our livestock happy. That's that's. Um, issue number one, two, and three really make sure that livestock are happy. If they're happy, then we're all happy. These fields certainly do seem big when you're only going at it with a four meter drill. It'll take us some um, time. We're slowly working our way down the front tank there. I believe we've got in the region of about 80% left. So we we don't have a great deal, but this this should be sufficient there to keep us going for a little while longer. I have got the uh, telehandler ready to go. It's got two bags on it, which we'll have to bring to me first because there's two bags of spring barley, not oats. So hopefully, uh, hopefully Barry's good for the short term. Onto the GPS and back onto putting some tram lines down. So we now have all of our fleet is now equipped with CB radios. Uh, the telehandler was the last to have it done on Monday. Um, the fitter came out Monday and did the New Holland and the JCB. So we've now all got our um, CB radios in, which is great news. So we don't have to worry about any other. Uh, communication. These will. These have been tested already by us around the farm we have around the area, and despite the hills and the valley, everything is working really well on that front. So that's good news. Other than that, there is no other fresh business to keep you up to date with, really. What I'm likely going to do at this stage is just keep plugging away. This field's going to take us quite some time here, so we're just going to keep pushing through, and we'll get this drilled up as soon as possible. But I feel like sooner rather than later, I might have to go and check up on um, on Barry, see how he's getting on. He's likely going to need some seeds soon, I think. So, uh, yeah, we'll catch up with you when we get a little bit further up the field.
What's going on everybody? Uh, we are making progress but very slowly so we'll just wrap everything up here and we'll just keep cracking on I think. Uh, Barry has managed to uh, almost finish that field without needing to, uh, to be refilled which is fantastic news. Uh, so he's almost done there, he's going to jump into the field just behind these trees and we'll be able to really crack on. So uh, all in all we're going to leave it here and we're just going to really get this finished up then. By the time we come back tomorrow we should be in a great place where we've got everything done. All being well, so keep an eye out for that, watch this space. Uh, until then though, thank you very much for watching. As always, if you have liked this, don't forget to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Big thank you and welcome to all those new subscribers like I mentioned. Uh, you have been watching Simulation for the Nation. We will be back later on this week with uh, more episodes from uh, here on Oakfield Farm. And we may also be having another cheeky little interview coming up soon on a growing understanding. So do keep an eye out for that. Uh, until then though, thank you very much for watching as always. Do remember to stay safe, enjoy what you're doing, but most importantly, happy farming.